Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my Widget Locker Tutorial 2.0. Now I've done this before, but some people actually wanted to see this again. So I'll just walk you through what I've got. So you'll be able to see that there's three main widgets. The first one is Bob Clock, the second one is Simple Text, and the third one is uh, Unlocker from XDA. So uh, you see when I unlock it, you'll be able to see that it slides across in an animation. And let me just show you that again. So I'll show you how to do all of this within this video. So the first thing you want to do is go along and download Widget Locker from the marketplace and uh, then open it up. And then I'll show you what I've got in my settings. So you'll be able to see that uh, pretty much nothing is checked. Uh, ignore that allow home button. You should probably uh, uncheck that. But just as a side point, there is actually a glitch where if you press the home button, it does unlock. So we're waiting for an update for that. But one of the main things you should do is uh, disable the notification bar so it's full screen when you actually have the uh, widget locker enabled. So for look and feel, I've actually disabled alternative uh, wallpaper so uh, you'll be able to see whatever wallpaper we have on the screen. When we unlock it, it's going to be that same wallpaper. So uh, you'll see if I flick across to the next screen, uh, if we lock it and unlock it, it's that wallpaper once again. So that just adds a bit of variety to your lock screen. So I do enjoy that a little bit. So moving on to the background tint, I've just left them both at zero. So this kind of just gives a little bit of a tint to your background, basically. It's as simple as that. And for the layout size, I've chosen the grid size to be 4x4. Four four. You can choose anything you want, if you want higher adjustment or less adjustment, but that's just what I've chosen. For the screen orientation, which is quite important, I've actually left it as a landscape. So if you choose sensor, it actually uh, goes along with the way you rotate your phone. And if you do portrait, it obviously does as portrait. So it's up to you. And remember that slide animation that happened when I unlocked the phone? This is where you do it, in the unlocked animation settings, and I've just chosen it as slide. So moving on to the behavior settings, if we click on that we can see that I've chosen it to appear on boot, so as soon as the phone uh, turns on, widget locker will come on as soon as possible. And for the sounds I've got, as for the lock sound I've got bubbles, <laughs> you can choose whatever you want, but I've just done that. And for the unlock sound, I've gone ahead and chosen harmonics. So um, a lot of people have been asking me about that and those are the different sounds I used. So um, I've gone ahead and selected slider haptic feedback so it vibrates when you unlock it so you know what's happening. And for screen timeout, I've just left it at one minute. So that's fairly stock standard. So all in all, that's basically all the settings I have inside my uh, widget locker application itself. But if we want to go along and um, see how I actually did the slider. We'll just move on to that right now. So the first thing you want to do when you're inside the widget locker uh, tool mode is go into the settings and hit add and then go ahead and click custom slider and the one we're going to choose is a custom one from XDA so the one I have is called MNM Lish. I'm not sure what it stands for but that's uh, what it is and then so we just go get themes and then it's going to ask you which browser you want to use and obviously you just click on the one you want and then it will load up the XDA page and it will bring you here so if you want the exact one that I've got then you just click on that uh, middle lock screen button there and then uh, it will open up a new link to be able to download that so we just click on the download button and then it should open up the next page straight away and we download it and then it's going to ask you to save as so we just click OK and it's going to start the download. Uh, this is Boat Browser by the way if you're wondering, so it's a good browser so I recommend that as well. So once you click on uh, the downloaded zip file it's going to ask you to either install an add or just install only so it will show up in Widget Locker automatically. So I've just chosen install and uh, if you do for some reason have to uh, install it manually it's actually going to be inside your uh, normal directory and then under data and uh, the Tesla software and under themes it's going to be in there so that's where you actually have to put it if you have to do it manually but anyway so um, once you have that we can just go to uh, add and then add locker add, add custom slider and then that will be the one that you choose and as for these other two widgets this one is going to be um, simple text and this one was Bob clock so if you want to go ahead and uh, put some widgets on there it's just the same as any other widget so you kind of just uh, go ahead and click the options button and click add and then click on widgets and you can just scroll down to what you want and select it so it's as simple as that so if you can't be bothered doing all of that and you just want to have something simple that's just all set up for you there's an application called GoLocker and that's from the marketplace so you can just go in there and download that and then when you do open it up there's actually a whole bunch of themes that you can have a look at 
and decide which one suits you. I think you may have to pay for some of them, but some of them are pretty cool, so you can just go along and uh, install the one you want, and then um, straight from there you can use it just the way you want. But also make sure that you uh, disable Widget Locker before doing this, or any other lock screen that you might have in place. But uh, the one drawback is it's only available in portrait mode, so uh, if you don't mind that, then go for it. Go for Go Locker and have a go, but if you actually do want to customize, then try out Widget Locker. So. Hopefully you've learned something from this tutorial and hopefully you're having a good holiday and uh, I'll see you again quite soon for another video and I've got a few announcements to make next time as well so have a good day and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. See you later guys.